Watching the world burn, watching the world burn, December 17th, 2023. Let's get into it. So I always try to help you first on these videos. Uh, boy, I tell you, I've discovered a lot of things. It's a good rainy day here in Florida, and you know that I've been trying to expand my platform. I am now t.me, uh, the world burning on uh, Telegram. T.me, the world burning on Telegram. <laughs> Who knows whether that'll go anywhere. I I wanted to get the burn just like I have on Rumble, and uh, I couldn't get it. It was already captured. And uh, I said, well, the world burning, because I call this watching the world burn every time I introduce a video. Uh, but uh, the other thing was um, I bought... A phone from Google Fi. I got a $600 discount and I just wanted to tell you how that went and my intention was to use the Samsung Galaxy S23 as my new camera and keep the S22 as my primary phone that way if I lost the, the S22 I wouldn't really care because I still got the S23 but if I didn't activate the S23 they were gonna charge me the $600 uh, for whatever reason you have to activate the phone that's just a little Food for thought, I can't imagine that affects more than one of you, <laughs> if not anybody. I don't know. It's a, the, All this technology stuff, it just takes a lot of time. And, and just learning how to use Telegram today has been a hell of an adventure. I've spent eight hours, you know, watching videos. And the one thing that I wanted to know was how the hell do you upload a video? Well, it looks to me like it's got to be an attachment. And it's limited to two gigabytes uh, unless you buy the premium service. And without any followers, <laughs> I'm not going to pay for the premium service. All right, let's get into the news real quick. Uh, blacks had better wake up. They are being displaced uh, by the Democrats bringing in uh, all of the illegal aliens. Uh, blacks are being cut off from government funding. And I hope that they realize that, uh, you know, because uh, the Democrats are bringing in a whole new voting class and they don't need the blacks no more or... The Hispanics or the Jews and so we'll see where all this goes because uh, with what now eight nine million illegal immigrants in the country a whole new voting class for the Democrats I don't think any of these voting blocks that used to go for the Democrat Party are going to be needed anymore just my thoughts uh, so yeah the illegal immigrant crime is on the rise across the United States I don't know if you follow the news but there's been a lot of incidents of uh, illegal immigrants uh, perpetrating crimes. And, and of course, this is not talking about the terrorist cells that have been led into the country or the child trafficking or the uh, drug trafficking uh, or the cartels. I mean, you know, so we, we're we heading for some rough times under the Biden administration or the under the Democrats. Let's just put it that way, because uh, the Democrats are intentionally destroying the middle class and they're detent intentionally destroying the United States. You have to understand the Democrats were the party of slavery. And uh, they never went away after the Civil War. Uh, now, they did gain power back in World War II under FDR and uh, Woodrow Wilson, and when you want to look back at the presidents. And, uh, and they began the demolition of the United States, and they're continuing along with that. And, of course, the rhinos are in with them, you know. You got Mitch McConnell. Well, the Mittens Romney, he's going to be gone, at least. Uh, and, and, a, and a lot of other rhino Republicans. Ah, uh, to get into Ukraine has suffered 80 to 90 percent casualty rate now. Well, according to the, the uh, Ministry of Defense in uh, in uh, Russia, I don't know if we believe those numbers, but uh, I tell you what, I, it seems like the front lines are crumbling all along. I, I, I noticed the media is starting to change the narrative now that they're saying, well, Ukraine's got to go on the defensive. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think so. And I really don't. I mean, I, I've made predictions in the past, and most of my predictions, well, they haven't come true yet, but I said by the end of the year uh, that I don't think this war is going to go on much longer in Ukraine. Um, let's see, uh, if you can't trust how you can have negotiations, and, and this, is, this goes back to, to Putin, and uh, he gave a huge speech, it was like four hours long. Uh, imagine Biden doing something like that, where he had a question and answer, and uh, people were asking him all kinds of questions, a lot about the economy, uh, some on the war. And, uh, and, and the final question I thought was very interesting. He, they said, well, like, what was the one thing you would have changed if you could look back in the past? And he said, I wouldn't have trusted the West. 
because the West lies about everything. He didn't say that. I mean, that's but that was the implication of his last statement is that he would never have uh, uh, trusted the West because uh, without trust, how can you have negotiations, right? So, so I don't think uh, the Russians are going to negotiate. They're just going to end this war uh, with, unfortunately, a lot more Ukrainian uh, dead uh, soldiers. Oh, by the way, I, they did hit a, uh, well, I guess we might get into it in my notes. Uh, they hit a NATO uh, base with the Kensong missiles. I don't know how many NATO officers lost their lives. Uh, that was huge. I think it was near Kiev. And, uh, and we can go on from there. The Russians will only accept unconditional surrender yet. Well, part of Ukraine, uh, west part of Ukraine blows up. Oh, yeah, this was a hell of a video. I don't know if you've seen it. Um, this guy, uh, he came in. He was pissed off. There's a bunch of uh, Ukrainians meeting in this council meeting. And, uh, and I guess, I don't know. I don't know. The guy must have been crazy. And he went out and he came back with a bunch of hand grenades and he threw them into the room. And I've gotten the numbers now. I think it was like over 100 people died in this council meeting. I, I, and so, man, I'm telling you, Ukraine is just disintegrating. All right. The uh, one thing that came out of uh, Putin's meeting is they have uh, 650,000 soldiers now in Ukraine, uh, and they're planning to grow their military to 1.2 to 1.5 million. I, I think 1.2 is where they're at right now, but they're going they're probably going to go. They got a new bomber online. Uh, they've modified their uh, long-range bomber so that they can strike the United States with nuclear missiles or Kinzong missiles. It's it's being upgraded to carry all the cruise missiles. So there you go. Uh, poke the bear, poke the bear, poke the bear. Um, and, and one of the questions that I have, and maybe somebody can leave a comment below, is how much hardware does the United States have left? If we're sending all our 2,000 bomb bombs to blow the hell out of the Palestinians in, uh, in Gaza to, uh, to Israel, and we've given a hell of a lot of our hardware to Ukraine, I mean, I, I know that... Our manufacturing capabilities are not that extensive because basically the way a contract works, you know, with the private industry is that, you know, you get a contract and then they, they manufacture so many. Uh, and, and also that was another thing, a Patriot battery just got, that was another thing on the Kinzong missiles was a Patriot battle battery got destroyed. coming It was coming across from Poland. So they took that out too. Um SD bullion sale on Monday. Uh, definitely check out what comes this Monday. Uh, right now, silver it went back up again, and I uh, I don't know. It's not. It's still not terribly expensive, but uh, they there should be running some Christmas sales, and so I would keep an eye on that. I, I'm going to try to take advantage of that. If it right now, I I don't have any money, and uh, the, the stock price is soaring as a trap. Don't get yourself involved in that. You're just going to lose all your money. Uh, Zelensky was evacuated to Germany. <laughs> that was interesting. Now, I'm not sure if this was because of the Russian attack or because of internal uh, politics. I haven't gotten the uh, lowdown on that, but uh, it was kind of funny that the president... I mean, imagine the president of the United States being evacuated to another country. Uh, so that tells me that things are not going well in Ukraine. Uh, let's see. There was a New York... City. Oh, yeah, this was a different one. Uh, New York City substation was blown up, and uh, there was a brief uh, citywide blackout uh, from, from this, uh, I guess, everything automatically rerouted, so I guess the backup systems worked pretty good, but the fact that this thing was blown up and we don't know what happened, whether that was a terrorist cell from, from Iran or, or whatever... Uh, it's just, it just was very interesting that the entire city lost power for a brief period of time. Um, so it was a sabotage uh, from, from what I understand. The Eisenhower uh, carrier group has been redeployed. Uh, from what I can tell, it's going to go down and fight the Yemen Houthis uh, because they have continued to uh, interrupt commercial traffic in through the Straits of Hormuz. And so uh, that should prove interesting. Chuck Schumer is keeping the Senate in D.C. to secure $60 billion in aid for Ukraine. Is he going to be successful? I hope not. But because, uh, you know, I, what happened to ever, you know, why, why does everybody want to give everybody else money except for the United States citizens? What happened to, I mean, I like the Trump message, you know, uh, make America great again or America first. Don't you think that'd be a good idea? 
I, I, I can't see giving all this money to Ukraine for, for, for no reason, in my uh, opinion. Zuckerberg is building a $100 million compound in Hawaii with an underground bunker. Uh, have you noticed how a lot of these billionaires are building underground bunkers? What do they know that we don't know? What do they know that we don't know? Uh, Warren Buffett sells billions in stock. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, what does that imply to you? Does that say that Warren Buffett's confident that the stock market's going to continue to go up? I don't think so. I think the billionaires know a little bit more than you and I. Maybe you might want to uh, readjust your 401k, your IRA, and uh, maybe uh, sell a little bit of stock. I'm not saying put it in put it into cash and stick it under your pillow. I'm just saying that you know maybe uh, you want to keep your powder dry. Let's just say that you want to keep your cash powder dry. Um, so, and then with the hoodies blocking the shipping, I wonder. Uh, I would imagine that commodity prices are going to go up. So right now we've got pretty cheap uh, oil prices, which is shocking to me. Uh, but I, I can't imagine that's going to stay that way for very long. So Finland uh, closes all checkpoints on their border uh, and they're mobilizing troops. So what does Finland expect? I guess they think Russia is going to march all the way across <laughs> Western Ukraine and threaten them? I, I, I don't think so. Now, they could come down from the north through Belarus and be right on Finland's border. And they do have the, uh, the equipment and the men there to do that. So I guess uh, they, they, Finland, uh, they, I, I really don't think Finland should have joined NATO. Uh, that was up to them. Uh, I, I just wanted on a personal note, why won't veterans make a stand? You know, when I go to the American Legion or when I go to the uh, VFW, and I've probably complained about this in other videos, they all say, we, we, we don't want to talk politics. We don't want to talk politics. Well, guess what? Politics affect you. In fact, I was watching today uh, Trump's speech, and he was pointing out the fact that veterans at the VA hospitals uh, had no care. I mean, the doctors were incompetent. Uh, we were waiting uh, well, for me, some, it was six months before I got to see a damn doctor. And Trump corrected all of that. And, and, but this is what veterans need to stand up. They need to stand up and say, look, you know, our country, we're losing our country. And yet all they want to do is be cowards and, and hide in their little uh, uh, halls, you know, the American Legion Hall, or the VFW Hall, and say, we don't want to talk politics. We can't do that here. Yeah, guess what, guys? You're going to lose everything. So, uh, and then the illegal aliens are getting medical benefits. Can you believe that crap? Uh, let's get into a couple of bookmarks on, um, on uh, X. Uh, clandestine. Uh, and this was interesting. And you know what? I, I thought uh, this is why, you know, if you watch uh, CNN or MSDNC or ABC or NBC or CBS, you're going to see them going on about Trump is the worst threat to mankind. He's the next Hitler. He's going to declare martial law. He's going to arrest everybody. He's, he's going to do everything, even though he didn't do it for the first four years. In fact, we had a pretty good time. Uh, no war. Uh, I thought his first presidency went really well. But I will read this to you. If Trump wins 2024, he will alt all funding for Ukraine, negotiate an end to the conflict with Putin, thus preventing World War III. Well, that sounds like a good idea to me. Don't you think we should prevent World War III? The reason Biden and the deep state cannot, uh, cannot negotiate with Putin is because Putin wants their heads for crimes against humanity, namely for manufacturing C-19. I guess he's talking about COVID-19. This is not speculation on my part. Russian military literally listed Joe Biden, Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama, and George Soros as being the main ideologist, ideologist behind the plot to manufacture coronavirus strains in Ukraine. With the U.S. DOD funding, there is an open source paper trail to back it up. You can debate on whether or not you believe them, but reality is Putin wants the Western elites in Z. G, and G agrees with him. So what he's saying is that most of the world community has listed uh, Barack Obama, George Soros, Hillary Clinton, and Joe Biden as war criminals. So, you know, I, I, it's not hyperbolic to say that this is a life or death uh, for the deep state actors. Yeah, imagine that. If Trump gets elected, I wonder what would happen. Very interesting to think about. If Trump wins and negotiates a settlement with Putin... 
Russian military have already been demanding for activation of Article 5 and Article 6 of the Biological Weapons Treaty, which would result in a Security Council investigation and international military tribunals. That's what Russian military have been demanding at the UN for nearly two years now, and that's just the biological stuff, not even accounting for the whole you know, 2014 coup that took place in Ukraine. I, I will add to that. The shelling of Donbass, killing uh, 14,000 civilians, funding and supporting Ukraine in 22, and blowing up the Nord Stream pipeline. So what do you think Trump is going to say? No. Trump wants to prosecute the exact same people, and then it goes on from there. It's a pretty long uh, message. And then we've got uh, Victor, Victor 55, Putin. Russians and Ukraine are one people. Now this huge tragedy has happened, similar to a civil war between brothers when the brothers found themselves opposite sides of the front. And then, this is just talking about his speech. Maybe you remember, I already talked about this. In Ukraine, Russians are fighting Russians. This is a civil war, and civil wars are always the worst. Moreover, what else, what else is the horror of what has happened? Why do I often say that you do not understand the scale of what has happened, the fact that soldiers from both sides are fighting for their land? The only difference is the Ukrainian soldiers are fighting to give this land to the enemies of Russia. That is the United... Well, I don't think... Putin said this. I think that the Post author is saying all this. Uh, why do you think the USA and other vultures of the West, such as transnational corporation BlackRock? Yeah, well, BlackRock's been in Ukraine trying to buy up everything. And, of course, then it goes on. The battles are so stubborn and fierce. Um, let's see. Here's Geo, man. Uh, even Ukrainians see the problem that billions of dollars in aid are falling into the hands of Zelensky's incompetent cronies. Uh, and then from the host, Laura Ingram criticized Democrats for wanting to support the war in Ukraine. And then it says, but if Ukraine loses, America will be humiliated. Our status in the world will decrease, they say. I don't want to upset the globalists who use this old argument, but that's that thanks to their politics, America's status has decreased. America has already been humiliated. We are in decline. So I guess that's it for this video. I'm trying to... Hopefully, I've recorded this in a lesser format, and it, hopefully it'll be small enough, because it's got to be under 2 gigabytes, to get it up on Telegram for my first video. T.me, the world burning, the burn on rumble. Peace out. Stay free. You can run on for a long time. Run on for a long time. Run on for a long time. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down. Go tell that globalist liar, that Democrat idiot writer, that rhino rambler, that nuclear war gambler, that backbiting U.S. politician. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down. Sooner or later, God's gonna... Cut you down.